our guest speaker, our resource person today, will really expound on what we should do in order to close that transaction. Sabi nga nila, sabi ko nga, whenever I speak, close that sale in a sales person. But there are so many things to do, hindi ba? Sabi nila, finding prospect is hard among the so many. Tapos, sabi niya, well, if you are a project seller, then developer, wala problema, no? But what about uh, if you have already the prospect, no? Prospecting. Then naturally, you have to do, how, how do you get it? Digitally or uh, referrals or whatever. And then you have to be able to push through and walk through the process until there is a meeting of the minds between and among the person, among the buyers no? and the seller. Now, pag sa project, ala problema because it is laid down. But kung greater the brokerage, that will be a little bit tougher to do because you have to explain all the intricacies, all the data of the, of the property so that hoping that the buyer will like the property. If the buyer now in, uh, decides to see the property, well, nowadays you cannot do that. Although under the GCQ, if you are practicing real estate uh, marketing, you can now go and you can show that your, your, you have your real estate, your PRC ID, real estate ID, then you can do the uh, site inspection. Now, at the end of the day, what really matters is, do you or have you closed the sale? Closing the sale entails a lot of challenges. And this is what our resource persons will teach us or will share with us, so hoping that we can benchmark on what they do. And dami dami kasi mga questions dito, no? but I think it is really time for us, ako, dami na agad, time for us to really uh, go and call our our, 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 our resource person. Merong interesting question dito, pero later na, didiscuss ko, itatanong ko sa ating mga resource person. Ang ganda-ganda na mga questions. Okay? So, by the way, let me, let me tell you that uh, we are going to give out five Good Morning Real Estate Bank. So, fill out the form until 4 p.m. Uh, you can find this at the chat box. Items one in the previous episode will be shipped soon. It is now going to be shipped soon. No? Okay. So let me now call our very honorable and uh, dignified resource person. First, well, I'd like to call. I would like to introduce to you. A person, I, a good friend of mine, a person I admire because of his uh, ingenuity and his dedication to his advocacy, to the professionalizing or professionalization of the real estate service. He has already about, uh, about uh, four, about four, four thousand 4,000 accredited salespersons and agents and growing and growing and growing. Now, he will reveal down with us his secrets, the secrets of success in real estate selling and marketing. He is a licensed real estate broker and an accredited lecturer of PRC and the founder of Yoterio Realty and Brokerage, and also the Filipino Homes. You know, this guy, I know him so well. I have had so many occasions to be invited to speak in his uh, convention, which is attended by over 500 people or even 1,000 people at any time every year. And for several, several years, I have been with him in the annual NAR or National Association of Realtors Convention held all over the United States. No? And I'm referring to 
CRB. At okay. dapat ba Gerald, no? Anthony Gerald or Rais Lioterio. Hi, Boston Ton. Good morning, Doc. Hi, good morning. I would like to um, extend um, our um, thank you to you for having me here. I consult mo kay Doc EJ. In fact, I'm your avid uh, follower of this page in YouTube. We've been following all the events and I am so happy that I am now your, one of your panelists for this interesting topic, okay? About uh, building your real estate business during challenging time. And yes, this might be the, the best time to talk in this new normal. So at least yeah. everybody, all the brokers, salesperson will have an idea on what to do, uh, especially um, in today's uh, pandemic. Yeah, and I, and I know our viewers will learn a lot from your experience. Huh? And also, you give us some tips on how really to close the transaction. Huh? Boston. Yes, okay. Doc. Uh, as always, uh, for the Filipinos. Okay, good. Now, we have our second speaker. My goodness, Suki na natin rito, no? And, but would you believe it that she is actually a registered nurse? A registered medical technologist? But, she is a licensed, she is a licensed real estate broker and has had captured or closed so many sales in the past few months during the pandemic and that is I bent and she's now the current president of Rebap Real Estate Brokers Association of Dumaguete chapter which she I think she became chairman last year but due to her due to insistent public demand and her, and her very sterling performance in the board, in the chapter, she was reckoned back. She was invited back to head the one of the, uh, should I say, uh, most distinguished real estate brokers association of the Philippines chapters in Visayas. I am referring to CRB Melby Lorenzella D. Resana D. Sada. Okay. Melby, how are you? Hi, Doc. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome back again. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having me again, Doc. And I'm very proud that I'm with big men in real estate industry. And both of you are honorary, honorary members of Rebap Dumaguete. I'm very ah, proud to be in between you. two handsome men. <laughs> Salamat po. Good afternoon. Oh, when you say big men, ibig sabihin no, mataba ba kami? <laughs> <laughs> Ganun ba yun, Doc? <laughs> okay. Uh, without further ado, I know that I have been seeing each tinkling and we already have a lot of a lot inside watching us in the stream yard. And I think it is more. It's more than 200 now, but I think it's going to be more, more, more coming, coming. And I have a lot of questions here which i'm gonna ask from you huh okay Let, let's put it first muna straight let's ask the generic questions and then i will ask later the specific questions okay Bayan? so yes. what are the problems and challenges encountered by brokers and a salesperson in your own personal opinion during the covid 19 pandemic boston okay yes so, Doc, and to all the audience uh, who are attending this event, okay, so most of the problems are the people who cannot adapt technology. That's the issue, Doc, uh, all the time. Because, you know, during the pandemic, when it was announced in uh, March, I think, in 15, where ECQ started, um, after 15 days on April 1, even the developers, the brokers, and all big realities are actually... Um, are panicking on what to do next because uh -huh. you know uh, as they expected because most of the people are expecting a real estate boom but uh, unfortunately with this <laughs> unprecedented event uh, they never actually uh, have time to really adapt uh, technology and um, and there's so many critical things and essential things that you have to really adapt 
on technology because, because you know people today are in the internet in fact they always ask me are they all in the internet yes they are actually living in the internet today okay so it is very very important to really understand on how you can take advantage on the opportunity while you are at home okay so yeah. um, mm -hmm. most of the people i always tell them that digital real estate is the future and okay. uh, there's so many discussions that we'll be discussing this later uh doc ej oh, this is gonna be a very exciting episode because you're going to teach them share with them the experiences now you remember on uh boston doc. in 2019 maybe last quarter we were talking and we said that we are painting a very good picture for real estate in 2020 but we were caught by surprise no oh, it happened the oh. pandemic happened and remember maybe we were still dining in february and correct uh, correct and then march actually march 15 we were locked down already see mm -hmm. so but despite that pandemic i know that there's still hope as i've always been very positive not in COVID, but in our outlook in real estate saying that there will always be sun it will always be sunshine in real estate yes i think might be uh, yes um um the Yes, exactly, Doc. And problem talaga is, um, especially for the ones who are 50s and up like me, it's hard for us to adjust with technology. <laughs> yes, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's only the looks, Doc. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, yes, um, uh, I've, met, I've met several brokers at, of my age. Um, they don't want to get into internet they're tired uh it's a long process of learning inter uh, learning selling in internet so that's the negative thing about uh what has happened but then um slowly they were able to uh go back into their selling um uh selling te uh, technique um we we were able to adjust also so we had to learn we, ha we really had to embrace what is the new norm. And we attended a lot of um, sessions, seminars, um, webinars from the Filipino homes because we are all taken care of by Filipino homes in terms of trainings. It really, it's the new normal, Diva Melby. You know, okay. people, would, people would probably know that while we are broadcasting here, I might be wearing my coat up but down there, I am in short <laughs> and in sneakers, you know. You know You're not alone, no. though. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So let, let us continue, huh, Boston. How can the brokers and salesperson cope up with these challenges and align themselves to the new normal, Boston? Paano ba yan? Sabi mo nga, mga 50s above, ay na technology, ay na pumasok. They cannot make sales. Di ba, Tom? Paano yan? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I understand that, Doc, uh, there are some challenges with all of the agents, not only with the people who are actually, we call it non-millennial, okay? So we don't want to call them baby boomers because it's very hurting <laughs> for themselves. So I always call them the non-millennials. And today is a millennial era, and we always believe that people are really into technology. But, you know, people need to adapt and develop their skills in technology. It's very important because most of the people today they don't adapt and they don't even improve yeah, their true. skills on the technology side. But, you know, technology is not a bad uh, enemy of selling, okay? It is actually the one that will support our business and really converge on what we do. And that's how to become very, very successful. So the future is really about collaboration between human transaction and technology. Yeah. And that's what we do with Filipino homes. Mm -hmm. So what we did is, the, actually, we are super advanced, Doc. Um, I've been studying um, technology about real estate. Uh, I just graduated in MIT. Um, in fact, I got my two certificate from MIT and also in Oxford. Uh, it's about uh, digital real estate mm -hmm. disruption. And I am so happy that I I'm the first student in the Philippines. And I just applied to my company and even shared to some companies who asked advice. In fact, last two days ago, I have an email from a broker and uh, she is one of the biggest brokerage company also. 
and all her agents disappeared and she was asking me if what will she do if this will be long term because honestly speaking this will last for another one year and it is not in fact if you look at last two weeks ago there's no boat going to Bohol no boat going to Bacolo no boat going to Iloilo or yeah. even Manila so this will be very actually a long process so we had to really uh, accept technology but technology don't replace human we work with technology it will be complement and that's the reason Filipino homes is so advanced we develop software we have four software today uh, we spend more than 180 million with this software and that's where we partner with the brokers today uh, especially for the brokers who really want very easy uh, access of uh, data okay so we have ai now we just developed the first artificial intelligence technology for real estate wow. uh -huh. so um we can detect all buildings all over the philippines what are for rent what are for sale and we can give this share this for free in fact filipinos is free for everybody i developed this for uh, the filipinos and it's up to them on how they can accept uh, changes because if you want yeah. to accept changes is that's the time that you will make more money so it is now inevitable for us to read under yes. the new normal to embrace technology and you know you know who's watching us also uh immediate past president nick hi Hello. press nick Madam hi press nick. Nick, how are you at uh maraming nanonood sa atin na dumadami nakikita ko sa chat box eh puno ng puno but because i have two very good resource persons today okay because we talk about technology is it really technology that matters in closing a transaction technology you have adapted to technology but you don't make sales how is that is there a gap is there something between the line that you should also learn in order to advance and close the transaction in order to have a meeting of the minds both by the buyer and the seller or the project that you are selling. Yes, Doc. Um, I always tell them disruption in real estate is inevitable. I have to tell you frankly, uh, we have to accept and embrace this. But the reason why most of the agents and brokers, they don't have sale, because this actually selling is a process. It's not just like people are doing Facebook, people are doing online, that it can guarantee you that you will have sale it doesn't like do that i mean it's not like that okay it's a process so you have to know the developer you have to choose a developer you have to understand what are the terms of the developer and you have to also understand the buyers how how you can close the buyer so so with that with our company we train you we guide you we teach you everything and that is my priority and that's the reason i developed the first ever real estate school we call it fire and i'm very happy you're one of the, the first speaker of the biggest real estate school did you know doc that there's already 4500 graduates for that one in just oh, yeah. five or two months I'm getting, I'm getting yeah oh, oh, oh. and uh, um, i'm one of them <laughs> and uh, I, i'm so happy that uh, you are the pioneer and you are always the pioneer and we respect you with that one, that you are the prime movers. And that is the reason why you have the 0001 number <laughs> in all the licenses, and consultant, broker, appraiser. And we salute you for that talk, uh, for having the aspiration, for being an inspiration of the real estate. But going back, uh, it's a process, okay? So we, we teach people, especially now the brokers uh, actually last month 100 brokers joined filipino homes and they are so happy from last year they don't have a sale now they have so much sale almost every day and they were so wow. shocked was wow. why is it happening like that but they didn't knew for one month i really give time to really support them from branding from um, posting where to boost where to what project because it's not all not all developers are good honestly speaking you can close that's not a question but the question is can you be paid on that uh, transaction uh -huh. because you know some developers they might be very um was this enticing to sell but the question is is it good for the investors 
it, it's there, yeah. there's it's very complex to really do real estate and that's where Philippine Homes comes in to help so many Filipinos to, who are really struggling so I'm we are open for and that's the reason we want to to screen brokers who will be partnering us because the, we are protecting our brand our brand is very popular uh, abroad and uh, they can just bring it when they see Filipino homes then that's 80 percent already that they can close a sale oh that's what i'm saying you know amidst of technology and all of these uh, digital marketing tools still a salesperson or a broker could not sell. We want to find out the missing link, Boston and MLB, President MLB. Sanbang missing link natin. Bakit? Despite the knowledge in, in technology, in digital marketing, hindi pa rin makabenta. Ano kaya ang missing link? Maybe I think, you can suggest. Oh? Yes, Doc. I think um, I would like to to check on the, the salesperson or on the broker is how they they uh, accept the change right now they they're having a a hard time shifting into what is uh the normal right now so i would suggest that these brokers would uh, develop the confidence or at least um give time to study how to sell through internet because this is the, the the new norm or the yeah the new norm and they have to use what is um what is available at hand so like for example the during the time na, 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 na lockdown talaga we were not allowed to go out camellia so i uh, i had to use what is inside camellia so i roam around there were there were foreigners here in camellia that um that were in that uh, inquired for for whatever uh, available for sale here in resale here in Camellia. So I was able to made a, make, make a sale during that time. And then through internet, um, there, there were, you have to focus on two or uh, three developers. That's right, uh, Sir Ton has trained us to focus on at least two or three developers because if you will be um, selling uh, a lot of projects, you will be mixed up and you have to study how these developers will uh, give you incentives will give you what is true to you and also their uh the, the products that they are they are selling so i i already have 17 lois out of the 20 that sir ton has pushed me actually he told me boss make it 20 because i, I was trying to to screen um clients and i already had four five like that when he said boss make it 20 so out of the 20, I only have three left uh, on my slot for the LOI. So it, it can happen. It can really happen. It's also very important that the broker should have a hands-on on his or her salesperson. Salesperson, so, yes. Mga salesperson. Kasi exactly. Because after registering under you, wala na. Wala na training. Wala na ano. Kaya nagkaka-problema eventually. Yeah. Hindi makabenta. So sayang that, naman yung 20 mo. Yeah. Uh, um, actually, the 20 po is, uh, the, I, oh, I was referring for the 20 LOI letter of intent from my clients. So with in terms of my, ano, with the collaboration I had with Filipino Homes, um, I'm happy that Filipino Homes is training my my 20 salesperson. I don't have to, to spend uh, so much time training them. So I can do other things like selling on my own. Uh, all I have to do is to recognize what they have uh, made in the past few months, even in COVID time. So hindi po nagiging problema kasi may, may training kami, my my uh, my fire kami to train people. So from there, they they listen, they they learn, and they, they are able to apply what they have learned from fire. Uh, listening from you, I think we have found the missing link. I think the missing link leads us to, after all of the accreditation, all of the things are uh, compliant with legal requirements, hindi pa rin makabenta. Ang missing link would be training, training. The development of yes. the uh, salesperson to be able to close the sale. Kasi nakabiti niya niya, no? nahandun sa gitna, pero hindi pa matuloy-tuloy. And I think right. your, your fire 
Boston on, has done a lot of good things for the first person to push, to realize the sale and to close the transaction and according to their knowledge of what they want to do in this pandemic times. No, Tom? Correct, Doc. Uh, that's the reason with our uh, model, because every real estate company have their own model. Okay, So our model is really train, train, train. That's the reason I always ask all the, the brokers that, you know, don't just give your license to any salesperson who apply to you. Because it might be a waste. Imagine if you have one is to 20, assuming you're following 20 salesperson for every one broker, you can yeah. never survive with only 20 salesperson because 20 salesperson, only two or three people will be productive. And that is the <laughs> real yeah. fact. Yes. Huh? So if you're maintaining an office of about 30,000, you have two staff and uh, you have the technology, websites, everything you have. <laughs> within with the meeting of the minds of sellers and buyers. Tatanong sila kung ano ang mga recommendation nyo and suggestion so that the transaction is close. Train, train, train. Hindi naman daw nakakabenta. Paano ba yan? Yan. Ato? Yeah, maybe boss will be first then I will uh, do my um, answer after that one. So. Yeah. Um. Anyway, going back no there are so many salesperson who doesn't know who the, their broker is katulad ng isang question yung kanina yung ating question so by then you have to know your uh, developer yung broker binigay lang ng developer binigay ng developer so you have he has to have uh, to exert effort to know the broker then the broker should uh in in a um in uh, the relationship should, should be a uh, two way the because the, the broker is uh, also receiving commission from from the salesperson's performance, then he should train to give back to the salesperson. He should train the salesperson. Now, there are um, trainings online that you can attend. And then it's a matter of attitude. You have, you really have to, to accept the what is um, available right now. Kasi ganito na tayo eh. We cannot, we cannot uh, push uh, what we want. We cannot go back into what we had because we are now in the new norm. So from, learn, from what you are learning, apply it. Uh, it's, 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 it's not easy, I know, but for us, it's um, easier for us because we have been trained. So therefore, um, you have to undergo a lot of training in order to have that knowledge and then convert it into an attitude. 
It's always like that. Kasi, may may question dito. SK. Si Aida, no? Sabi niya, a train, 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 train. I cannot close the train. What will I do? Doc, ito. I will support the answer. I, the question. Yeah, I'll support the question. Okay. To all the brokers and salesperson who are attending this presentation, I know you are excited to listen to me. And this is speaking, there's two sides of the coin. Number one, you're a salesperson. The question, why you become an agent? You have to answer that. What's your goal? What do you want? What income do you want? Why are you joining this type of business? What brokerage are you joining? Is that brokerage supporting you? Do they have the support that will really gear for your dreams to become successful? So there's so many questions. It's not just about closing. The closing is already the result that you will be doing. Then on the other side of the coin is the brokers. So for the brokers, do you want to be individual broker? Do you want to be a network broker? There's two types of broker. The broker that builds network, do you accept responsibility? Do you have software that support your network? Do you have software that will support listing? Do you have a software that will monitor your sale? Do you have relationship with the developers? There's so many things. That's the reason it is not easy to really build a real estate mm. company. In fact, I build this from my heart. I never build this to make money. I build this from the heart because I know there's a big problem and there's a big gap in the Philippines. Branding, mm. technology, and support. That's the biggest oh. gap in the country. So oh. the question, what and who you are? And the individual broker, if you want to sell one unit a month, it's okay. You can do it individually. But the question is, what if you have so many clients that you encounter online and they need properties in Bohol, they need properties in Manila? Then that's where you scramble. That's where you will be asking your question. It will be very yeah. stressful. Why people quit real estate? Because of stress. So if you want stress, yeah. you can do it your own. And if you want... Easy money, easy business, join Filipino homes. Very easy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, Boston, we are being heard, uh, live, watch and viewed in Baguio City. Huh? Si Rose Ann Tabora also watching us in all the Baguio City real estate brokers. And likewise in Cebu, meron tayo si good friend Dun Golchano. Hill Escudero and Dali Mausisa. They're watching wow. right now. No? My oh. friends in Cebu. Oh, 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 okay. So, sinasabi nila na you listen to uh, Tonton because Tonton, according to some, to this Baguio lady, is a visionary. Yeah. Thank But, you. Thank uh, you very much. You, you look into really, you know, ang importante dito, selfless ke. You don't really go there to make money, but your money will come le le along, will come along. But what's important is you are able to teach, you're able to train people how to become productive and successful in life. Tama ba yun? Correct, Doc. Okay. Actually, whatever you do in life, the result will always be money. It is the result. It is not your main objective. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. So actually, dito kasi na sinasabi na ang Pilipino homes has always been very successful in all its endeavors nationwide. Nationwide ka na, no? di ba? And can you tell us uh, what, how many chapters do you have now? How many how many branches do you have now? Actually, so, before ito? COVID, we are 49 offices, Doc. And we just opened two new, op uh, actually, uh, two new offices uh, during COVID because the We know that uh, you have to be very visible to your clients. So why we open? In fact, I never uh, was this terminate any staff. I still have more than 53 staff with me uh, full time, working full time, because these are the staff that supports all brokers who are with us. We have already 300 brokers with us. So but uh, we're still hiring so many salesperson because We need about 2,000 salesperson in our network because we are terminating some of the salesperson who are not doing the job because that's the reason I always tell them, why are you here? What's your why? And you have to understand, uh -huh. it's not about selling. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's actually more than selling, right? It's realizing Correct. And, and building a dream. Yeah. Okay. It, it's right. siguro, 
Ito talong na susunod parang galing sa competitor mo. <laughs> What does Filipino homes do in order to meet the challenges and problems? And how do you cope up Filipino homes to the challenges of the new normal? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we always uh, adapt uh, what are needed to change. Um, we are so adjustable. That's the reason every month we have three meetings, uh, unit managers meeting, brokers meeting, and salesperson meeting. So we always are on the ground asking what are the new things that we have to adjust. And uh, one of the major challenges that we have are the developers. Okay, It's not our company, it's not Filipinos because we are 20 years ahead. But the problem, developers actually cannot adapt technology. And that's where we wake them up and we tell them, you have to be online, you have to be ready, you have to make all your staff support, the brokers. So we are so happy that uh, about 40, 50% of the developers now are really changing um, the process on how they can connect the brokers and the salesperson. So okay. that's why uh, it's very important. You have to keep on going, uh, adapting change in the process of uh, doing real estate. So change, explain that later on. Huh? But I just would like to inform you guys that we are being watched even from Hawaii. Hawaii, Rausa, Little Rausa, okay. And also from From California again, from, from, from Los Angeles, California, Jess Santos, kami watching us. Ang dami-dami ang pumapasok. Kaya, kaya worldwide ang ating exposure ngayon. Wow, kaya, ano, amazing. Ah? Sinasabi mo, ano? sinasabi natin. But the idea really now, Melby and Ton, is how to help. What advice can we give to our brokers and salesperson so that they can realize the same or they can make both ends it in this COVID times. Um can I answer oh, first sir Ton? Yes. Yes, most um, still going back going back still with the the um the the new norm that we have to embrace. So ganun pa rin po ang, ang advice ko you have to train yourself you have to face the computer You have to check on how you will do it. Then um, probably you can um, you can uh, post pictures of your uh, listings and then uh, show it to your clients probably abroad or just in the other um, the other uh, border that we, they cannot pa uh, the other place where you, that cannot pass the border. So you can show them what are your listings and um, in the in the meeting of the minds you have to. Uh, talk to the uh, seller or the property owner or the developer in behalf of your client and submit whatever requirements that these people or this uh, these developers and they uh, know you have to uh, be the link in between you have to submit the requirements you have to inform your clients where to pay you have to give every detail of your uh, for, in order for this transaction to be to materialize Okay, meron pa dito, galing kay Engineer Leonor Montilla de Canor, Melby, sinong to. Apo. Sabi niya, so many questions to answer. And yeah. the new homes can provide the answers. I think it's a compliment. <laughs> wow, Engineer. <laughs> Oo, oh, kay Engineer, no? Kaya ang ganda-ganda. Okay, okay. So, Pan ako uh, niyan din, Doc. Uh, would you like to comment on that? Yeah, Doc, um, the, the question is, Uh, what to do today in the pandemic times, you know, to all and the salesperson. And yeah, and what, what can I recommend to all the salesperson and also to the brokers? My advice is choose a project. Uh, it, it's very important to choose a project that you will endorse. You know, if you're into project selling, it's not easy to sell all. Honestly, mm -hmm. you have to choose a developer that can support you. That is the issue. Uh, the reason why a salesperson and a broker cannot sell in today's time because the developer doesn't support salesperson. The developer cannot even provide support to that uh, broker. So choose uh, a developer. Number two, provide service. You know, in our business, it's all about service. Uh, we're into service business. So what service do you offer to your buyer? Are you a good consultant for them? Because we are a matchmaker. 
uh, in the process. We match the, what are the need. So you ask them question, mom, are you an investor? Are you a flipper? Because there's three types of buyers, doc. I just want to emphasize this because during my meeting, I always train my new agents and brokers that you have to understand that there's three types of buyer. Number okay. one, end user. So end user, these are the people who wants to buy, they want to use. So you, you have to screen because some of the buyers don't qualify in terms of their salary, in terms of loan application, especially now, it's so strict, super strict. Ang mga banko ngayon, Doc. Did you know that one, Doc? Ang daming problema ngayon. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> Number two is we call it a flipper. So there are buyers, they buy, uh, mag-monthly lang sila, 10,000, 15,000. Then they flip after the equity has been paid. So if they paid already 20%, so they want to flip that one because the value is already appreciated. So you have to yeah. understand. And you sell a project that is really marketable in the next three to four years. So don't look at the project just one time and you can just push it. You have to study it properly. And number three, we call it investors. And that's where we support. So the question is this. When somebody buys a house from you, somebody buys a condo, because there's two options, buy a house, buy a condo. And they will ask you, can you support me after four years that this will be done? Can you help me renting out this property? Because they are investing a five million house or five million condo, and they will be expecting a rate of return from 0.7 to 1%, which is the normal today. But the question is, what is your network? Who will help you? what portal what support that you can help to rent that out with the the investor and that's where with filipino homes we have the biggest company rent that ph where we support we have three thousand agents there who help with rent because i have a group doc that handles rental and uh, i'm okay. so happy we have already the biggest group in uh, Luzon. we have biggest group in mindanao and biggest group in visayas and we are open for all realty all brokers, all developers to partner with Trent.ph. And in fact, I'm so excited, Doc, with your listing. I know you have so many properties. We will yeah, be partnering yeah, yeah. with Filipino Homes, and I will sell that to okay, help you. Yeah. I have a lot yes, of yes. Okay, you know, Boston, we are being watched also, followed in Calgary. Calgary, wow, and Canada. Canada. Uh, and wow. also in Toronto, Toronto, Canada. That's a very nice uh, place. Uh, well, uh, hello to Sisa Yape. Hi, Sisa. And Richard Santosian. Uh, I'm very uh, proud to be a Pipino home, real estate property endorser. Sabi, huh? Yeah. And, uh, uh, si Masipol Chicote. And of course, si Bina Teresa Glico. And dami daming palang mga fans, no? <laughs> kaya, kaya sila is so happy to see you. Sabi niya, the Rose Ann Floor. And of course, Albert Abellanosa. Kaibigan mo ato, KK, Mabel, Toreda, Celis. And Arthur Cabasag, Alak Aurora Celeste, Ejercito Yoraba, and Charo Monte de Ramo. Napakami, hindi ko na mababasa. Nasabihin ko lamang ang, ang sinabi nila na uh, from all over if even i think kung bulakan ang dami ding na nakukon sa atin na nonood sa atin ngayon from bulakan from pampanga oh, ala, no? ala from pampanga wow. nationwide and worldwide napakadaming nag-aabang sa tayo also anita limsi lao hi yes and hi uh, ma'am anita Oh, Richard Ariola Mendoza. Yes. Dami -dami. But the thing is, what they're asking is, sabi niya, Ton, Boston, and uh, Boss Melby, you're giving a lot of good advices to the uh, to your listeners, and uh, we will follow. And how can we push through? Can we push through and make this recommendation a reality? How can they turn it over? How can they turn it into gold? Yeah. Boston, 
Yeah, so, Turning it into gold is your, your table. Y- minsan kasi, Doc, al- alam mo, m- most of the question dyan, hindi ko maintindihan also eh. Kasi, alam mo, if they, if I tell them to push through, I don't know what support they will give to their agents. Y- yun lang ang question ko sa mga brokers eh. Uh, most of the brokers, if you're doing it individually, you have to really create value. That is the biggest uh, um, thing that you have to do. What's, what's your value? Why are yeah. you doing this? What can you give to your client? What can you give to your network of agents? So, uh-huh. so you just have to develop your value, just like Dr. Ong. Develop a value of reputation. Develop a value of uh, giving information. So it's very important because it's a process. Eh? It's a very complex business. Um, that's okay. the reason with, with our system, Doc, uh, most of our agents, we brand them individually. Okay, So uh-huh. both Melby have their brand, both uh, Eleanor have their brand. In fact, yesterday, we have a very big show in Cebu Daily News. We talk about branding. If you have time, uh, how to brand yourself and attract uh, sales, you attend that uh, session also. It's a one hour and 30 minutes. It's a very nice oh, show we because we, we cannot there. talk here for everything, the nitty gritty oh, of doing only business. We have one hour and a half. Yeah, okay. I have but only man, one hour. Ito maganda, no? Ito, sabi ni Rini, Catherine Kate Dalaga Garcia. Agree, Boston. You're doing well. But this is one good comment from Gov. No, isa sa mga stalwarts ng... Uh, na pare do Gabriel Dominguez hi Gab agree sabi niya focus is the key to successful real estate selling it's easier to be an expert when you are focus focus naman to and buyers want to deal with real estate agents who are expert in giving them advice and siya sabi niya product knowledge no importante yon exactly huh? that is why doc we need to focus Sabi because niya, it's not agree, all the time i agree with boston on the three types of buyers mm. <laughs> uh, talagang, uh, ay, <laughs> i'm proud to belong here Sabi ni Lexton. and oh watching from lucerne city ton si wow. lina aro gerbo uh, Dami nating watchers ngayon, Doc, ha? Oh, sabi niya, with, sabi ni uh, Kate, with eight, with eight commitments, like pre training sales techniques, teamwork, technology in choosing sales to equip, engage, establish, and empower your income. Ah, bala, ganda na, ganda na. Okay. So, ano sabi niya? Uh, engage, Establish and empower your income. Yan, ang sinasabi ni Kate. Maganda yun. So, so many things. Ngayon, at uh, ang itinatanong naman dito about the developer's tone. You said a while ago that uh, you cannot choose developers. But there are some developers who are not complying with what was supposed to be the giving of commission on commission on time. And some developers now do not fulfill their promises to deliver the goods, to deliver the uh, arepo, no? to deliver the bacon on the, day, yes. on the due date. What can you say uh-huh. about that? Are you going to kick out the developers or what are you going to do with them? Yeah, uh, th- this is what we do with our company because we're, we're so big company. So... Depend. Uh, when you are a big company, doc, you can dictate the developer. You know, advantage. But if you are a small develop- broker, you are a small broker. They don't listen to you. You know, problem. Eh. And that's the reason I went back to the Philippines and I saw the missing link. The missing link is there is no network of seller who are marketing na have a voice to the developer because if you look at the story for the past twenty years, developers control. They can control. They don't give incentive. Now they give incentive because we are asking for them. Sabi ko sa kanila, sir, it is not easy to get buyers. You have to give incentive. In fact, just last uh, month, 
there's one of the developer in Luzon who is very prominent, very nice. They deliver their unit. But because Filipino homes negotiate for the incentive, they are giving one trip to Europe for Filipino homes. Wow, and wow. now, last two days ago, there's a group of uh, Gaisano Group, Gaisano Capital. They are giving two trips, round trip ticket to uh, Europe also. So it, it is about uh, how big you are and how you control the developer. Remember, the developer makes so much money. But the question is, how will they listen to you? So it is a mutual relationship. They win, Correct. we win also. That is Correct. the secret. So Sorry, number two, uh, the right. issue is, number two, Doc, the issue is you cannot just accredit and go to the developer and sell for them. You have to develop the relationship between the owner. That is the difference. You don't meet the in charge. Don't meet the sales marketing group you have to meet with the owner. So if you're a broker, you want to really be effective, find a way to connect with the owner. That is very important. And like me, that is why I am so busy every day. I talk with the owner, almost three to four developers every day, just to help my Filipino homes partner. And that is my commitment. And that's where the value comes in because we connect directly to the owner. Uh -huh. Tamayan, tamayan. At, uh, that's very good. So therefore, we have to really talk to the owner and to the developers also, no? So that it's the, the owner is the developer. Uh -huh. Okay. What about in cases that the owner is that uh, the owner is different from the developers? Joint venture. Yeah, but you know who is the in charge? Who have the authority? That is and very important. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, like me, uh, in Luzon, most of the developers there are my friend. The WeCom, in fact, the WeCom family, when they started in Davao, I developed a good relationship with them. And that's the reason they give good incentive, good commission. And here in Visayas and Mindanao, I am so close with the family of Cebu and Master. So, people always ask, Aton, uh, Mr. Luterio have a very close relationship with this developer. That is the reason why they take care of Mr. Tonton. It's not about that. Because we need to develop relationship. Real estate is about relationship. If you have a good relationship with the developer, then they will give you what you want. Diba? And you have to really know who they are. And that's where I started selling. If they are good in uh, delivering their promises, then I support with them. So there's 1,000 developers. I only accredit 50 of them. That's it. Okay, good. No, we have, we have a comment from our guru, sales guru, Juskoro Jun Garing. Hello. Wow. Oh, it was Jun, my uh, mentor. Hi, sir. Congrats, Doc uh, E.G. Tonton and the Tonton, the innovator. And they are being very sad for giving a wake up call to all sellers and stakeholders who are all right, that we have to embrace technology. The key yeah. is really helping each other. And they say, saying that training really is a must. So if you want yeah. to yeah. sell. That's, huh? that's why we also need uh, Sir June Garing in one of these days. Yes. yes Hi, also. sir. I receive all your messages, sir. Sir uh, June Garing. Yes, and uh, June and I actually started together, and we were both uh, friends in time ago. I think about TK and and we to, the June is publishing his ebooks on sales training, right? So, Filipino home, Melo, Ponce Leon, how to join in homes as an EB or salesperson? Yeah. Cousin, cousin, call me. <laughs> He's also a broker, sir. He's a cousin oh, of my husband, Melo, oh, Me wow. Melo Ponce de Leon. He's CRB okay. from Ribap Dumaguete. Ah, sabi wow, niyo, welcome. Niyo. Okay. Sabi naman ito, uh, ni Maan Rico Pasqua, we are watching from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Wow, yeah. boss Maan, how are you? Aha. Uh -huh. And, Actually, uh, she also uh, messaged me about the training, sir. Uh, mm. yeah. oh, no, you, you can you can sell the money even though you're abroad, right, Ton? 
Yeah, actually but, what we do when they are in abroad, we call them referrer. They refer, we put it to the licensed broker here. They just refer, then we have a special arrangement with the developer that they will be given uh, an incentive. Okay, yeah. good. So, sabi naman ni, uh, ni Kay, know the project before selling talaga. Kay exactly. sellings. And ito, maganda to. Si Lucy, Lucy Yu, sabi niya, I'm proud, I am a proud Lutherian. Ba may Lutherian? Lutherian sa? Broker yan, broker. Broker din yan. And Filipino Homes Broker. Thank you, Boston, the... Boss Melby and Doc E.G. And dami natin mga kuwet. From General Santos City, they're watching right now. Also, wow. from uh, Samar. From Samar. They're watching. Oh, Samar. Samar. Oh, Samar Love. And sabi niya, I love and I'm proud. I belong to the best of the best. Wow. Best of the best reality in the Philippines. Filipino home. Thank you. Uh, Boston and Belby, Bing, Benting, Belgar. Kailangan mo to? Oh, yeah. Oo. <laughs> Teammate ko yan. <laughs> of course. Yung ating best friend, si RJ Ledesma. Hi, RJ. Hi, hey, boss RJ. How are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Royal uh, to are, Orange. Uh, uh, we built our Filipino Homes Luzon team only in July. But just by following the successful sales system and closing techniques of Boston, my accredited salesperson's uh, uh, has a great, a great system. Salesperson made it, and the town has a very Filipino homes has a great system. Yan, sabi ni, ni RJ, no? And then, sabi niya, uh, Boston, thank you. It is true that service is one of the most important thing in organization. Talaga naman, tinabi natin yan, no? Service. And to be more successful, we, we need we need good service to our client. Proud to be Filipino Homes. Puro ata sa ito eh. No? Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, thank you uh, Filipino Homes team. Okay, watching, so we love you guys. They're watching from the city of the Golden Friendship. Tama yun. Oh, Cagayan, Cagayan de, Oro. de Oro City. Si Sonel Labla. Eh, sabi niya, mabuhay Filipino homes. And incentives can motivate our partner, salesperson, and agent. Can you explain that? How do you start in uh, Filipino home? For example, hindi pa license. Ano is klare? Pero? Yeah, then, actually, this you, is what happened. How, how do um, you give incentives? Oh. Yeah, that's a very good question, and I want that to answer to all the brokers who are actually having questions with Filipinos because they always ask, uh, they always post in Facebook about myself that I have a system that they don't understand. Actually, hindi lang nila na understand ang process. When you are a broker, and you are a corporate broker, corporate in Section 32, Resa Law, state that if you are a broker, then you are a partnership and a corporation. You have to have one is to 20. Claro talaga yan. Okay? Correct. So, ngayon, I follow that. Even, walang sinabi na natural person. Because supposed to be, I talk to my lawyers and to all the judges. Sabi nila na ton, there is a gray area. Gray sa area. Resa law. My gray area yan. And that's the reason I have a big position paper to amend. After 10 years, na nagka problema itong uh, Resa Law. Because the big problem is wala tayong national organization. In fact, I believe you, Doc, that we need to have one and you have to really start this. And I will support you 100%. Thank Doc you, thank AJ. you. Uh -huh. So, we need to have a mother uh, organization, an IPO, uh -huh. okay? Association of Integrated Professional for the Real Estate Group para we can lay down and how we can implement. So there's uh -huh. so many issues. Is a natural person covered by Section 32? Yun ang malaking issue eh. Hindi tayo covered. Ordinary brokers, hindi talaga covered yan. So it means you can recruit as many as possible. But kami, we don't, 
uh, was this? We don't use that. Um, was this the um, transcription? Na sinabi nila, na transcribed nila, and they um, explain na ton pwede ka unlimited. We don't do that. We still have to process the one is to 20. I follow RESA Law 30, uh, Section 32. So ang ginawa natin, Doc, is this. Every broker, to all of the brokers out there, my advice to you is when you recruit a salesperson, you have to really scrutinize. You have to qualify. You have to check. Don't ever give them the license right away. So you have to train. So with Filipino Homes, we have three months probationary training. Oh, uh, pa, paano sila kikita doon? Sa three months na yun? Hindi sila kikita. Ang nangyari is mag-attend muna sila ng training. Then, once they have a prospect, once they started posting, then they can have a, a sale. You put that sale hanging the salesperson. That is a very good process. That is my process, di ba? So, ang mangyari, these are not official agents. These are agents that are provisionary, just like an ordinary company. If you open an ordinary company, whatever company, you cannot hire them as your regular employee. That, you cannot do that. You cannot hire uh, an accountant right away. You have to undergo. So, with Filipino Homes, we educate our agent. We call it culture. The definition, mm -hmm. the Latin word culture, cultura, is how to grow or cultivate. So, kami, sa Filipino homes, ang ginawa namin, we develop their character. We develop their um, attitude. We, kasi bawal kasi, I, I saw it in the Code of Ethics, bawal magsira ng ibang broker or salesperson. Ang nangyari, itong mga broker dito sa Pilipinas, Palaging mag-post sa Facebook, sinisiraan nila yung mga broker, mga chismoso. Uh, yan, totoo naman talaga yan eh, mga chismoso ba? Bawal yan sa Code of Ethics sa Resa Law. In fact, they can be filed a case because we have, we can file a case against them. In fact, mm. it's not me, but so many brokers that they actually posted. And number they two malign. issue, malign yeah, they malign identity. brokers. Bawal yan sa Resa Law, Doc, sa Code of Ethics. Correct, oh. So, number two issue is technology posting. So, you find me, sinabi ko nga sa kanila, you get to know Resalo. Ako na memorize ko yan. In fact, I am the first one who created an app, Resalo app in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Tinanggal ko na lang yan kasi hindi na prosper ang iPo. So, what is mm -hmm. the rest? Wala yan sa Resalo na digital posting. Wala talaga yan. Wala, wala, Saan wala, mo wala, makita wala. yan sa digital posting na bawal daw mag-post sa Facebook? They are so ignorant. Ignorant talaga. Anybody can post in Facebook. The most important, they have to understand that this agent that they hire must be honest, must be qualified. So in Filipino homes, we qualify. That's the reason we got the most sale. We got the most best character ng mga agent. Kasi kami, hindi naman kami mag -chismis. Kasi bawal yung humor... Um, kan yung magchismis sa isang tao, ma-terminate ka sa Pilipino ang dyan. We have that culture. Yeah. yeah, I saw that because I saw one you terminated, di ba? Malaki pa sa iyo, right? Very close to you. But Very close how? to me. Because violated, no? The, the policies yeah. of the company. Kaya, ang dami, I, Dok. Ang dami. Uh, okay. So, uh, we are also being viewed in Pagadian City. Uh, and uh, lahat Ang sinasabi nila, we are we, we learned a lot from you, Boston, in inspiration, and from Tacloban City. Wow. All over the Tacloban. all over ata eh. Tapos sabi din ni June, professionalism, integrity, and ethics is one of the keys on all transaction. Code of ethics must be strictly enforced. That is why we need an IPO now. We need correct, an correct. Apple. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know that you know that that was one of my greatest frustrations when I was chair of the PRB res. But I hope that this second board will really push through the organization of the IPO. By the way, hello to Chairman Opelia Binag. Opelia Binag. Chairman Binag, how are you? Oh, hello also. Yeah, hello, ma'am. 
Paeng Pahardo, board member Paeng Pahardo, Ay. and Pilar Torres Banaag and R.D. Tan. Board Mark Pilar, members. how are you? They belong to the second board. Sir Kaya, Pardo. I, know they, I know that they are doing their job and soon we will have what? No? Sabi pa rin ni Ayo, ni Ayo, ni pa din. Business to, is about relationship. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> That's what Sir Tan said earlier. Kaya, kaya nga, no? Okay. So, now, let me also greet uh, Miss Miss Johanna or Arsenas, developer of Westlake Subdivision in Roja City. Wow. And, and also Pilimon Barbasa, area manager of uh, Westlake Roja City. Hello. Thank you for listening. Now, you know, can we have a parting message from the two of you? Si Boss Melby, kung mawala okay. Boss Melby. Yes. Um, to the salesperson, uh, to all the real estate practitioner who are watching right now, thank you so much uh, for spending time with us. And we would like to invite you to be partners of uh, Revap and Filipino Homes because we are give, giving so much um, benefits to, uh, in, with regards to your practice. Now, um, Doc, we would like to thank you also for having us here. Um, I'm in with, again, earlier I said I'm with great two men because I'm with Ressa Man and with the king of the realties of the Philippines. I'm very honored to be between the two of you. And um, yes, Boston, your term. Yes. Thank you, Boss Melby. Okay, so, hi, Doc. Yeah, so, Doc, thank you very much. It is our honor that... Uh, to be interviewed, to, to have our side here uh, all over the Philippines, to all the brokers, salesperson who have aspiration to become successful in real estate. All over the world. <laughs> yeah, all over the world. Okay. So yeah. uh, again, uh, people are asking why digital transformation. It's very important because in order to streamline the process, the system, and the information to be given direct to the customer. So it's very important today. You have to adapt. And you have to really be a real estate digital company. Stay competitive in the changing landscape. Send information faster in just a single click to your client and reduce time to be effective in sending out information to your business partner. So thank you very much. Thank you okay. to my family who are watching. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to the Philippine Homes family. And for all of the people who wants to join Philippine Homes, you can text me. Uh, PM me and you can also visit my uh, Instagram. My handle is Ton Luterio in Instagram. You can message me there. Anthony Luterio in Facebook. So thank you. More power to I consulta mo doc. EG, God bless you for the episode number 16. Maraming maraming salamat and we hope and I hope that we could have you again. Okay? Thank you so much.